They're in the gate. And they're off. Pretty even start as they cross over, and it is Ola Thobble who bounces out on top. Federal judges away second. Dangerous Ride comes out in third, and Stud Lovin is moving up from fourth. Extra and Aho fifth early, five lengths off the lead. Western Gent comes away sixth. Deer District in seventh, and backside buzz the trailer. So down the back stretch run. Ola Thobble, here's Federal Judge. Federal Judge comes on through to take charge for the far turn run. Federal Judge in charge in front. Ola Thobble through the inside second stud loving perched out three wide third dangerous rides under a ride already fourth so to his extra and aho down inside fifth still four lengths behind far turn run federal judge heading for the quarter pull trying to shake loose stud loving comes on into second now as ola thobbles back into third extra and aho comes off the rail for a final try in the stretch they're off the turn federal judge something left for this stretch drive spurts away by three extra and aho's up and to second. Deer District is coming down the center, but Federal Judge with a four-length lead. Final 16th. Extra Anejos finishing with interest. Time is running out, and time does run out. Federal Judge the winner. Extra Anejo finishes second today. Deer District was third, and Dangerous Ride was fourth. And they're off. Sir Rock breaks on top. Katernigan is there and just a photo as well and quality chic on the far outside. But Sir Rock, after that good beginning, leads the field into the first turn and heads over to the rail. Katernigan is a tracking second. Just a photo comes away third and quality chic is in the clear fourth. Harbor Bridge down inside advancing up from fifth. Savage Kiss is sixth. Chloe's Dream and Real Naughty are together, second and third to last, and it's a break of three back to Texas Pride, who is the trailer, and being eased out of the race there is Chloe's Dream. Chloe's Dream has been eased out of the race. The opening quarter goes in 23 and 4. Sirac is moving down the back stretch, run on a two-length lead. Katernian is tracking in second and Harbor Bridge is third. Quality Sheik continues on wide while fourth, up into third now. Harbor Bridge is back fourth and toward the rail. Just a photo is racing fifth. Savage Kiss is sixth. Three lengths back. Texas Pride seventh. Real Naughty's at the back. Half mile time, 47 and three fifth seconds. Far turn run. Sirac the leader. Pressed along by Quality Chic, who has been advancing throughout the race. Katernian is smack dab between them. The three of them round the far turn together. And Harbor Bridge joins the fray now. Comes on from the outside. Then it's just a photo racing in fifth. Texas Pride coming on from the back. At the quarter pull. Quality Chic is up for the lead. Katernian fights on toward the rail. Harbor Bridge now third. Sir Rock gives way. Final furlong coming right together. Katernian and Quality Chic. Quality Chic leaning on Katernian. Katernian, who's digging in toward the rail. And just a photo in Harbor Bridge, third and fourth. Final 16th coming. Katernian and Quality Chic in a battle to the wire with Harbor Bridge coming on late. Katernian got it. Katernian, a hard-fought winner there. Quality Chic, Harbor Bridge, and just a photo. And they're off. Brigadier Gen General breaks out near the top. Major Blue is there. Super Design is as well. Embrace down toward the inside was forward early. But as they move up the chute, Super Design is out to set the pace. Brigadier General right there. Major Blue is not far behind them, racing third. Petulin comes away fourth to break it to Beck. King Ottoman is now fifth. El Oriente running along in sixth. Bright Future is seventh. Pipes and Drums is eighth. Embrace is ninth. Coastal Defense is tugging at the rider. In some traffic near the back. Then it's Flags up in the trailer is Mohafeth. Opening quarter goes in 22 and 1. The pace is swift up top by long shot Super Design, who heads for the far turn in front. Four furlongs to go. Brigadier General is tracking this strong pace. Down inside, it's Major Blue tucked away while third. Petulant is fourth. King Ottoman is on the move now from fifth, angling to the outside. Bright Future 
Has to go now. Six and toward the rail, still five lengths behind. Pipes and Drums moves up alongside of that one. So around the far turn, Brigadier General Petulant coming for the lead. King Ottoman pops outside as they fan very wide off the turn. Major Blues in behind them, racing for the mid-stretch marker. Petulant comes away with the lead. King Ottoman to the attack. Bright Futures back in it outside. One for long to go. Petulant and King Ottoman shoulder to shoulder with a 16th to go. Petulant digs in. King Ottoman tries to get by. Bright Future third. Petulant the winner. A length in the end over King Ottoman. Bright Future El Oriente came on for fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. Good start for Travel Column. Matt Teray is away sharply as well. Far outside my destiny, out OK2. Okay so they move up the chute. They head for the main track, and Travel Column's in front as they cross over. Matt Teray is right there racing second. Good night, Olive, toward the inside. Tugs up to be third. Wicked Halo backs off. The first into fourth. Two lengths back. Halton Sultry is off the pace today in fifth, and my destiny's at the back in sixth. So down the back stretch run. The opening quarter mile on the board. They head to the half mile pole, and it's Travel Column. On the leader with four for lungs remaining now. Matt Teray is prompting from the outside second. Wicked Halo comes on three wide third. Good night, Olive covered up. Down inside fourth. She's two and a half lengths off the lead. There's three for lungs to go. Hot Dan Sultry moves up to her outside. Six lengths back to my destiny. So round the far turn. Matt Teray is coming after travel column. These two head to head. Wicked Halo three wide off the turn. Good night, Olive is stuck in behind. She needs to find a way through. Hot and Sultry is coming down the center. Matt Ture is in front at the eighth pole. The lead is two. Wicked Halo's keeping. Good night, Olive pinned in toward the rail. She can't get out. 16th to go. Matt Ture a length and a half. Wicked Halo. Good night, Olive trying to muscle her way through. Oh, what a tough trip there. Matt Ture won it in the end. Wicked Halo second. Good night, Olive settles for third. They are in the gate, and they're off. Spenderella got okay, and Sharp Hero did too. Speak of the Devils up there, along with Hotty. Fluffy Socks backs off to let the others go on with it. With one circuit to go, Hotty down inside of Spenderella. They're running way off the rail. Spenderella's floated about four or five wide into that first turn. A big opening at the inside for Sharp Hero if she wants it, but no, Hotty goes on to take it. So it is Hotty in front, Spenderella. They both angle in toward the rail now. They're one, two, heading to the back stretch run. Sharp Hero toward the inside, racing third. Speak of the Devil reserved while fourth. Fluffy Socks at the back of that first flight in fifth, and it's a break of five. Back to Wakanaka, who's a dozen lengths off the lead. So down the back stretch run, the opening quarter goes in 23 and three fifth seconds. It's Hotty the leader with four furlongs remaining. In a stalking second is Spenderella. Sharp Heroes covered up third toward the rail. Speak of the Devils within range. So too Fluffy Socks. They're only three and four lengths behind. Wakanaka struggling now. Another eight lengths back from the field. So round the far turn. Hottie's trying to go wire to wire. Spenderella sidles up alongside. And these two head to head. Speak of the Devil pops outside. And is coming on strongly. And Fluffy Socks is right in behind. She needs to find a way through. And she comes charging on through. Suddenly it's wide open for long to go. Spenderella's short lead. Fluffy Socks comes charging through toward the rail. Fluffy Socks in front. Spenderella second. Speak of the double third. Wakanaka so far behind earlier. Coming on too late to catch Fluffy Socks. Fluffy Socks the winner. Spenderella was second. It's tight for third. Speak of the double or Wakanaka. Well, she had seven seconds on her resume. They're in the gate. And they're off. Shirley Furious with a good beginning. Cattle River was there too. Zozos comes on to challenge as well. And the Deep in Snow's not far behind either as they race up the chute and head for the main track. And it's Zozos. 
Zozos goes out to set the pace as they head up the chute. Down inside, Gulfstream Way punches on through to press from second. Knee Deep and Snow is third. Cattle River is up close fourth with Promise Keeper. Kapuna's there on the far outside. A firing line down the back stretch run right in behind Zozos. Farther back in the field, Shirley Furious comes away in seventh. Baby Yoda's racing in eighth. Mask Parade tugging at the rider down inside. Ninth three technique is tenth by five. The trailer is Noble Drama down the back stretch run. The opening quarter, 20. 22 and 3. Here's the half. 45 seconds flat. Far turn run. Zozos holding on to the lead, but it's a narrow lead. Knee deep in snows right there. Kapuna three wide and pressing. The three of them across the track. Midway round the far turn. Baby Yoda's revving up with a wide sweeping move. Up to grab fourth. Cattle Rivers back into fifth. Three technique is coming on wide. Mask Parade is coming on down inside. They're off the turn. They're into the stretch. Zozos comes charging off the turn. Kapuna's been wide throughout these two head to head with one furlong to go baby yoda's now third three technique outside closing two one furlong remaining zozos rouse to the lead kapuna's desperately trying to get by zozos digs in on the outside kapuna surges zozos kapuna zozos does it zozos half length in the end kapuna was second three technique was third and baby yoda was fourth And they're off. Bad Beat Brian bounces out right on top. Karatari hustled out of there as well. Noble's down toward the inside. Double Reflection is there. So to arrest me, Red just might. Comes on through to grab sixth. Oceanic losing ground while seventh. Go Bears go eighth and toward the inside. Batorius is racing in ninth. Big Invasion is tenth and buried at the inside. Five flanks back to Evan Singh the trailer. So down the back stretch and out of the far turn they go. Nobles down inside has taken the lead. It's Nobles in front, half length. Noble Reflection pressing from second. Right in behind is Bad Beat Brian Wild third. Arrest Me Red comes on from fourth, just might fifth. Go Bears go, cut the corner, six. Big Invasion buried down inside still. They're off the turn. Nobles in front, in front by two. Now it's by three. Bad Beat Brian trying to run on from the outside. Motorius is slicing through the pack and diving to the rail. Nobles in front, Motorius motoring home. Angles back outside. Nobles in front, Motorius final try. Nobles held on. Motorius couldn't quite get there. Go Bears go as third. It's tight for fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. Fort Bragg was bounced around coming out of there. Lugan Knight showing some speed from the inside. Damon's Mound from the outside. Freezing Point is there as well. Kangaroo Court comes up through toward the inside to challenge two. General Jim's in behind them as they race up the chute. Looks like Damon's Mound and Lugan Knight to go head to head early and they cross onto the main track that way. Fort Bragg on the outside. Kangaroo Court comes on. Here's Kangaroo Court up into second, prompting Damon's Mound for the lead. Fort Bragg on the outside. Third, Lugan Knight is racing in fourth. Frosted departure over to the inside. Fifth, General Jim tugging at the rider. Up into sixth. Gun pilot on the outside. Seventh, Echo again is racing in eighth. Gilmore is ninth. Bourbon Bash is tenth by five. Tallboy second to last early and the trailer is Curly Jack. The opening quarter. 22 and 2, 45 flat for the opening half mile. Far turn run, Kangaroo Court hounding Damon's Mound and Fort Bragg perched out three wide, the three of them in a three ply battle round the far turn. Frosted departures right there in behind, just two lengths behind. General Jim is there too. Lugan Knights in with a shot. Gilmore is going five or six wide. Frosted departures trying to squeeze through down toward the rail. They're off the turn. Fort Bragg, General Jim head to head, heading for the eighth pole. Frosted departures. Departure, Lugan Knight is there. Echo again late on the scene. Gilmore down the center. One furlong to go. Fort Bragg in a pitched battle with General Jim. General Jim up for an arrow lead. Fort Bragg fight, fights right back. Fort Bragg and General Jim. General Jim wears Fort Bragg down to get it. General Jim the winner. Fort Bragg was second. Gilmore was third. And Frosted Departure was fourth. They're in the gate, and they're off. Most dash at mid-pack fires out fast and is quickly in front in the first few jumps. 
Desert Duke broke sharply too and angled over toward the inside. Now comes back outside. Major Dude is tucked away toward the rail. Otago is there. Carl Spackler advancing quickly. Comes on three wide to make it three across the track into the first turn. Mo Stash down inside. Cuts the corner. Grabs a narrow lead. Desert Duke is second. Carl Spackler three wide third. Major Dude covered up inside fourth. Otago's in fifth. Webslinger on the outside sixth. Farbridge covered up toward the rail seventh. Mendelssohn's March is racing in eighth. Anglophile is ninth. Behind him in the lines toward the inside, tenth. Scooby Quando, eleventh. Johannes is all the way back in twelfth and is ten lengths off the lead with just one horse behind him, and that's and the winner is. And the opening quarter was moderate, 23 and 4 to a 47 and 4 half. Less than four furlongs to go. Far turn coming up. Mo Stash still in front. Desert Duke still right there second. Carl Speckler three wide within range. And so too Major Dude. Major Dude down inside fourth and only two and a half lengths off the lead. Far Bridge is bottled up down toward the rail. Nowhere to go yet. Webslinger comes wide for the stretch drive. Farther back in the winner is in Scooby Quando. They're off the turn. They're into the stretch. Mo Stash comes off the turn holding on to the lead and spurts away by two. Carl Speckler getting on track. Major Dude comes off the rail. Far Bridge coming up the rail. They're two Webslinger. Slinger, and the winner is one furlong to go. Mostash is desperate. Here comes Far Bridge up the rail. Web Slinger down the center. And in between, it's Major Dude. Here's the wire. Maybe Web Slinger got it. It's a photo. Web Slinger nose up and down with Far Bridge toward the rail. Major Dude and Johannes. They are in the gate. And they're off. Off to a good start. Tejano twist. Cody's wish away. Okay. As they race up the chute and head for the main track. And in between, Hoist the Gold comes on through along with Hear My Song. And these two knock heads in the early stages. Hear My Song toward the inside. Up for an arrow lead now. Hoist the Gold is prompting from second. Two lengths back to endorsed on the outside in third. Sir Alfred James heads over to the rail. Fourth, Fortin Hill. Up into fifth. Tejano twist is racing in sixth. Getter number is seventh by four. Cody's wish is at the back of the pack with Steel Sunshine. They're eight lengths off the lead and the opening quarter goes in 22 and 3 far turn run hear my song half length advantage for the far turn hoist the gold is right there pressing for the lead they round the far turn 1-2 Sir Alfred James toward the inside third endorsed is racing fourth Cody's wish comes alive on the outside sixth and now fifth and closing in quickly to within four lengths of the lead they're at the quarter pole hoist the gold comes off the turn in front wanders to the outside Cody's wish is closing. Hear my song down the center as well. One for long to go. Cody's wish has rocketed past. Takes over and takes off for the wire. Cody's wish powers past the Twin Spires and will score by four emphatic links. Hoist the Gold was second. Tejano Twist was third and Hear My Song was fourth. They're in the gate, and they're off. Hong Kong Harry off a little bit slowly there. Bye-bye Melvin for the outside pose. Bounces out near the top, and Earl's Rock is there too. These two go one, two. Santine angles to their outside and races up to track the pace. Meanwhile, Wolfie's Dynaghost finds a cozy spot down toward the rail, racing up into third with one lap to go. And it's bye-bye Melvin in front and Manny Franco trying to back down this pace. They hit the first turn, the leader. Santine is prompting second. Wolfie's Dynaghost is third. Earl's Rock comes away fourth. Ocean Atlantique covered up toward the inside, racing fifth up to the mark in sixth. Hong Kong Harry in seventh. And the trailer is Spooky Channel, six or seven lengths off the lead and the opening quarter goes in a composed 23 and 4 into the back stretch they go bye bye Melvin continues to show the way Santine is stalking in second and no hurry to go by so far Wolfie's Dynaghost is coasting along third covered up and will save ground to the far turn run as well Earl's Rock on the outside is racing in fourth. They're inside of four for lungs to go. Ocean Atlantique is fifth and down toward the rail. Up to the mark in six. Hong Kong Harry in seventh. The trailer is Spooky Channel. 48 seconds flat for the half mile time. They're on the far turn. Bye bye, Melvin. 
feeling more pressure from Santine now. Santine ratcheted it up on the outside. Earl's Rock is sent on up to the mark, is launching a four wide sweeping move. Wolfie's down it goes Ocean Atlantique and Hong Kong Harry. They're off the turn. Santine comes away with the lead. It's Santine in front, but up to the mark is rallying down the crown of the course and up to the mark. Slingshots to the front. Up to the mark in front by two. Hong Kong Harry runs up into second. Late on the scene is Spooky Channel. They're coming down to the finish. Up to the mark. Mark scores by four in the Turf Classic. Hong Kong Harry was second. It's tight for third there. Spooky Channel or Ocean Atlantique. They're in the gates. And they're off in the Kentucky Derby. And Confidence Game got away well, so too verifying. Kings Barnes is up there too. Jace's Road from the outside and Reincarnate from mid-pack fires out as well in that daunting run to the first turn of the Derby. And it's verifying Kings Barnes and Reincarnate. The three of them across the track early on. And they've opened up by two and a half lengths. Confidence Game toward the inside is racing in fourth. Two fills is fifth. Jace's Road on the outside is sixth. Hit show toward the rail, racing in seventh. Rocket Ken comes away in eighth. Ray's Kane right at mid-pack, running along in ninth. Mandarin Hero is tenth. King Russell's eleventh. Disarm buried at the inside while twelfth. Derma Sotagake's back in thirteenth. Cyclone Mischief is fourteenth. Mage is fifteenth. Angel of Empire down inside in sixteenth. Sun Thunder is seventeenth. Tap at Trice was last, entering the backstretch run. And another sharp pace in the derby. Forty-five and three-fifths seconds verifying flying up the back stretch with kings barnes bounding along right alongside and reincarnate is right there three one in the outside third two fills follows them in fourth confidence game covered up down inside fifth hit show has been moved to the outside and he's drawn to within three lengths of the lead as they're on the far turn rocket can is following him Ray's canes going the wrong way down inside derma sotogake is revving up from the back of the pack and so too is mage Angel of Empire is finding his best stride as they round the far turn. And two fills has taken the lead. Two fills turns for home in front. In front by two. Mage is coming down the center. Hit show is there. Kings Barnes gives way. Angel of Empire with powerful strides down the center of the track. But there's one for long to go. Two fills fights on. But Mage has taken the lead. Angel of Empire is a rallying third. Time is running out to catch Mage. Mage digs down deep, urged onto the wire, onto the wire to win the Derby! Mage the winner, two fills was second, Angel of Empire was third, and Disarm came on for fourth. They're in the gate, and they're off. Funny Uncle made a left-hand turn coming out of the starting gate. Promised me a ride was off slowly. Good start for Bo Cruz, who punches out to grab the lead. Equivocay was away alertly as well. Backs off toward the inside, tries to come off the rail to track Bo Cruz into the first turn. B minor comes away third, seeking unity toward the inside fourth. A very restive Promise Me a Ride is racing fifth and tugging at the rider, moving to the outside, six lengths off the lead. Classic Legacy Racing, third to last, Funny Uncle and Shopper's Revenge is the trailer. Six furlongs to go, and Bo Cruz steps out. Bo Cruz opens up by three lengths for the backstretch run. Seeking Unity is on the chase from second, and now Equivoque is back into third, but is keeping pace with them. One, two, three down the backstretch run after an opening quarter in 24 seconds flat. So Bo Cruz cruising along to the half-mile pole. Four and a half furlongs to go. Seeking Unity in between. Right there's Equivoque, three wide for the far turned run. Three lengths back to B minor. Followed by Promise Me a Ride, who's a bit more settled now for that far turn. Three lengths from there, back to Classic Legacy and Shopper's Revenge. Funny Uncle is the trailer as they round the far turn. Bo Cruz still in front. The lead's down to a neck, though. Seeking Unity cranks up the pressure. Equivoque has been wide throughout, but is right there as they come to the top of the stretch. And Bo Cruz heads for home in front. Equivoque is cut loose now. Equivoque coming after Bo Cruz. These two go 1-2, heading for the eighth pole. Bo, Bo Cruz has something left though. Bo Cruz turned back Equivoque. In the meanwhile Classic Legacy is a rallying third. B minor's up into fourth. Final 16th coming and Bo Cruz kicked away. Bo Cruz down to the wire. Clear cut three length winner. Equivoque couldn't get by. Classic Legacy third and B minor was fourth. Seeking Unity checked in fifth.
They're in the gate. And they're off. Northern Invader broke out okay. So did the Noble Reality. Eric Ridge is also showing some early speed as well. Up the shoot they go. And here comes ever so mischievous on through to take the lead. Golden Sombrero is right there. Those two go one, two. Northern Invader comes on to grab third. Mabu Hayes on the outside with Dillinger. They're up close as well. Noble Reality backs off, settles into sixth. The break of three lengths back to last on, racing in seventh. Toward the inside, Macho Villa advancing from eighth. Five-star G-Man is ninth. Eric Ridge is back in tenth and the early trailer is Fear of Union. The opening quarter goes in 22 and 3. They're on the far turn. Golden Sombrero has taken over. Golden Sombrero running the far turn. Dillinger is on the chase in second. Ever so mischievous is boxed in toward the inside. Nowhere to go just yet as they round the far turn. Golden Sombrero short lead. Dillinger right there. Ever so mischievous crying out for running room. Northern Invader with clear sailing up on the outside. Now third. They're off the turn. Dillinger Dillinger comes off the turn in front. Dillinger, the one to catch. Northern Invader is there toward the inside. Golden Sombrero, ever so mischievous. Nowhere to go. Dives to the rail. Furlong to catch him. Down to the final 16th. Northern Invader, ever so mischievous. Clear sailing up the inside. Coming hard. Ever so mischievous. Up for the lead to score despite some anxious moments. Ever so mischievous first. Northern Invader was second. Golden Sombrero was third. Then it was either Eric Ridge or Noble Reality.